Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here, and we're going to do a beer review. This one is by Alesmith Brewing Company, and it's their West Coast Style India Pale Ale. That's what the can looks like. And this puppy comes in at 7.2% 7 .7 alcohol by volume. And um, it's got a can on date of 6-8-20. So this thing's like um, a couple weeks old. And um, they are from, uh, I believe it's San Diego. San Diego, California, yeah. It says um, Citrus Pine Smooth. One of the all-time highest rated IPAs on, the, on rate beer. Ale Smith IPAs is back for our 25th anniversary and better than ever. Bursting with massive hop aromas of grapefruit, pine, and tropical fruits. From huge additions of Columbus, Citra, and classic IPAs is perfectly balanced by a healthy malt backbone and smooth bitter finish. And uh, they were established in uh, 1995. Um, I've had this beer a long time ago, and uh, it disappeared. Uh, I I didn't see L. Smith. It was in my early days of um, craft beer. L. Smith was around, but it I I didn't see it for a long time until now. It's been like a couple of years or a few years since I've seen just their regular L. Smith IPA, and I've never reviewed it, and I, I haven't had it in a long time because it hasn't been around. Um, I picked this up in a four pack, four pints for like 13 bucks out the door at Total Wine and More. It's a pretty good deal um, considering this is like a really awesome, hopefully still is awesome IPA. So let's get it cracked open, see what we got here. Um, this is like one of the original old school um, West Coast style uh, IPAs. I can smell hops already. Wow, I just got whapped in the face with hops. Once again, Ale Smith, they make awesome beers, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, I'm totally getting like smacked in the face with the hop aromas right now. Um, so we have a monster, frothy, creamy, silky head, some uh, bubbles popping open in the middle there. I was wondering what happened to this uh, IPA. I just, I know it used to be uh, bottle conditioned. That's a crystal clear and perfect amber color. This was my favorite IPA back in the day. I just loved it. Really nice filtration there as you can see. Pretty happy to see this beer come back, no doubt about it. Beautiful looking, perfect, perfect looking West Coast style IPA here. Perfect amber color, perfect head consistency, got a perfect donut on top. Oopsies. Got one drop, missed one drop there. Hit the floor. Look at that head on that thing though. That's nice. Alright, well let's get an aroma on this puppy. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay. Yep.
right up front, I'm just getting like really, really nice piney hops. I'm getting some floralness. A little bit of caramel malt sweetness. Just a touch of some earthy spice hops. It's awesome smelling. It smells like Pliny the Pliny the Elder actually. Let's get a hit. Cheers. I like the new can. Very cool. L. Smith IPA, sweet. I am so happy to see this. The taste follows the aroma. That's one hell of a beer, I can tell you that right now. Cheers. That's awesome. It's got a medium mouthfeel. Very well balanced. It's got really good head retention. Cheers. A little bit of kind of, it's not fruity like grapefruit. It's more like hoppy. Kind of mimics a little bit like grapefruit, but not really fruity at all. It's just like piney and a little bit of earthy. What a beautiful beer. That is a quintessential uh, West Coast style IPA right there. Um, just like Pliny the Elder, Ale Smith IPA is pretty much the definition of West Coast style IPA. Let's swill it one more time and we'll wrap it up. Cheers. It's pretty dank. The IBUs are up there. I'm not sure what the IBUs are, but it's pretty damn dank. It says citrus, pine, smooth. Okay, I'm not really getting citrus because it's not fruity at all. It's just hoppy, like pretty dank, piney hops. A little bit of earthy hops. And some of the, um, the bitterness that's lingering is a little bit like kind of grapefruit bittery. <laughs> Excuse me, but it's not fruity. A really nice small backbone. Mm, that is tasty. No booziness whatsoever at 7.2%. Super smooth. Really nice, refreshing type mouthfeel. Really good uh, hop flavors. Excellent malt backbone. What more could you want from a West Coast style IPA? Cheers. Just a little over three bucks a pint. Well worth it. Um, if you want to taste a straight up West Coast style example of an IPA definitely this is it right here uh, this is the definition of a West Coast style India Pale Ale this is this is spot on cheers there's no tobacco notes there's no chalkiness or none of that crap going on 
It's very well constructed um, IPA, in my opinion. Doesn't get much better than this. So um, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm gonna give this puppy a five stars. Um, this is uh, about as good as it gets uh, in the IPA land. So five stars out of five. Um, one of the best IPAs you could ever get your hands on for sure. Cheers. If I was stranded on an island and I could get only one beer for the rest of my life, it might be this one right here. It would be a toss up between this and uh, Pliny the Elder. But uh, in my opinion, this is a five star beer. It doesn't get any better than this. It's, got, it's a perfect IPA. Yep, that's awesome. So five stars it is. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. I mean, it's not the most complex IPA on the planet, but it's one of the most spot on uh, IPAs on the planet as far as West Coast style goes. It's, it's, it's spot on. So five stars it is. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please like and subscribe. I'd much appreciate that. Double horns up for this puppy. All right, y'all have an awesome day, and we'll check you later. See ya.